Shavua Tov and good morning everyone. I hope you all had a great Shabbat. We are going to continue the halachot of Keri Ali Or Haner, which is again a case where someone wants to read on Friday night or to do any activity that, that requires uh, uh, focus at the light of the Shabbat candle, so any candle in general. So we explained that Hachamim made a special takana that a person may not do that because he might touch the fire, he may touch the flame in order to fix it. So today we're going to see that there are actually three exceptions if this happens that the halakha allows it. Number one is if you have someone else with you. Now this someone can either uh, be reading with you or can be reminded by you to uh, make sure that you will not touch the light. That works uh, in both cases. Uh, and even if it is uh, spouses, so either a wife would ask her husband, a husband would ask, would ask his wife, that works as well. There is no difference who you are asking to make sure that you will not uh, touch the light in uh, all cases that will be allowed. Another case scenario, by the way, according to this uh, halakha, uh, it could happen sometimes that when a woman goes to the mikveh, a lady goes to the mikveh on Friday night, and the balanit needs to actually check on her and make sure that she actually dept the right way. If there is no actual electric light by the mikveh, but candles instead, that will be also allowed because you have uh, not just one person, but two people involved and sometimes even more than that. So therefore, uh, this halakha actually is the reason why it would be allowed uh, in these circumstances. Also, we have a situation where if, for example, someone is Adam Hashuv, a person that is important and it would not be his kavod to touch the light, then uh, according to Halakh, to Shulchan Aruch, it would be also mutar, even if some poskim disagree with that, but relying on Shulchan Aruch would definitely be okay. Okay, so Adam Hashuv also is mutar. And another exception is whenever you have Talmidim, students, even though they don't have their rabbi that is monitoring them uh, closely, so he's just around, but not really watching or looking at each one of them, the fact that emat rabban alehen, which means the fact that they have the fear of their rabbi, the teacher upon them, they will not touch the light. So that's all for today. I wish all an amazing day and Shavua Tov Murach.